welcome back in this video we are going to take a look of sea lion which is uh, which is an ide from jetbrains and uh, as my uh, previous video got so, uh, so much reviews at least for me and i think this was the good uh, good time to make uh, a better and improved version of that particular video and uh, let's take a better look of this particular sea lion ide so first let's fire up sea lion and it's the 2020.3 version which is the latest so i have guided you about the downloading procedure in my first video i would link that video in the description down below and the system requirements of this particular ide so let's create a new project when you first fire up this uh, ide you would get this let's name it new okay just new would be better and language standard i'm going to be selecting c plus plus 14. so remember you would have to download c plus plus compiler um any any kind of c plus plus compiler separately it does not come bundled with this ide so on my mac i i didn't have to uh, download it separately I just don't know but it works here but it won't work in windows okay so we we will get a code which is a demo code like this and let's first see that how uh, we can run our code you can see here the play button is la uh, lying and or simply command r sorry control r in mac and you can see that hello world is printed Okay, this was the first thing and let's go and set up this IDE to make it look better and personalize it. Go to Sea Lion and go to Preferences. You can do that on Windows as well, but in a little bit different manner. So we have theme and Darkula selected by default. First, let's go and download some plugins. First will be Code Glance. I think there will be no any space. Um, wait, yeah, here in plugins, code glance. I don't know what is happening. Let's go to um, not the editor plugins. Okay, I had to select here. Sorry, code glance in the marketplace and let's install this one and i'm extremely sorry for the background noise and uh, after code lens uh, we would have to download some themes right um let's search for dracula it's a dracula theme um it's installing okay it is installed now and let's click OK. Let's restart the IDE. It will take a while. And now you will notice that the user interface and those um, code, your code looks much better than the stock theme. OK, here's another theme. I can tell you about that as well. So for command and comma, you will directly be going to preferences and let's search for dark one dark theme and let's install that one and you can add, uh, add custom icons as well let's talk about material atom material icons and they would be applied automatically on the restart okay so it's being downloaded so plugins basically make your uh, IDE to work better with a particular system you are trying to uh, run like Java plugins are there which help you uh, to run Java code and to program in Java on this particular IDE or, or any of JetPrint's IDE or any uh, general IDE. Okay, so Atom Material icons are almost installed and let's click apply 
and OK. So now it's a one dark theme and you, you may notice that these icons have been changed to the atom like icons. Okay, so this was a bit about uh, the customization. Let's talk about how you can increase and decrease the font size. Let's go to preferences and appearance and behavior, appearance and okay. Here is the background image, but we're gonna uh, talk about it later in this video. Go to editor tab in the font and I have currently selected Fera code, which, which is the developer's choice, obviously. And I would also tell you how you can download those fonts. And let's select the size to 20. Line spacing seems fine. And let me show you one cool thing. Enable font ligatures. Now let's close this one. It's by default turned off. So let's see this is not equal to sign in programming, right? Let's enable, uh, take a look how it looks first. Let's enable font ligatures. It will look like this now. How cool is that, isn't it? Okay, so let's click okay and go to Safari because I'm gonna go and tell you how you can uh, download Fira code, sorry. Download Fira code. And there may be this uh, GitHub link. You can download it from the button down below. It's about 2.3 megabytes and it would download automatically, okay? So it's getting downloaded. So once the file is downloaded, open it. And here are the Fira code. Let's go to TTF. And what you actually have to do, select all and open those all. Okay. And you have to install those fonts because I have already installed those I don't need to install them again. Let's close this one and let's get back to C line. Okay. And uh, one more thing in fonts, font ligatures are not supported on all type of uh, fonts. These are supported by uh, only by mono type fonts. Fera code supports them. And we also have Droid Sense mono and JetBrains mono. Okay. So now, if Fira code wouldn't have listed before, after installing, you can see those options here as well. We have increased the size. Let's talk about the background image of the code editor. Good appearance and behavior, appearance, and we get the option of background image. Let's select that one. Let me pick that one. Sorry for that. And suppose I'm going to go and load this one. Um, let it load. Now you can see your code has the background image that you just loaded. There are different views for that image. Like this one. Um, I don't know what they are called. I think this is dial view and this is cover and that, that type of stuff. Okay. Selected, you can increase or decrease the opacity. Let me do that. Let me take the slider to the maximum level. Okay, it's not responding quite well. Although I'm on my uh, M1 Mac. This increases or decreases the opacity of that uh, wallpaper that you have applied in the background. And when you select for this project only, it won't affect for other uh, projects. Let's see how it looks. Click OK. OK. I, I think it looks just fine when you have a great or relaxing image in the background. The coding is just fun. And OK, I didn't tell you about uh, the uh, option. And I was talking about this uh, plugin that first we uh, downloaded. It is called Code Glance. 
Now here, okay, so let, let me first remove that background image to make it clearly visible in the background image. Let's clear and close, okay. Now here, you can see in the side, in the uh, right side of your code, there is this kind of window like in VS Code, which gives you the uh, outline of your code overall and helps you uh, to navigate through, through the code. And one of the best things, if you're learning C++, you are probably getting started with programming, right? And this IDE has just amazing IntelliSense work. Let me type C O U T C out. It okay. First, we would have to type using it. Just look, it's it's doing amazing job of uh, suggesting me those uh, code snippets using namespace std. And let's see, C out. Uh, it's been a while since I coded in. C++. Hello world. I think that should work fine. Right? Let's let's run it. Yeah, it's printing hello world. Now suppose you have made a mistake like this one. It would give you uh, the kind of red line that uh, that would indicate that you aren't uh, doing things right, okay? So it, it is basically very fun to try out those things and uh, if you are a beginner, you you would pr probably get annoyed easily by those IDs like um, dev C++ or those outdated IDEs. There would be a lot much trouble. And let me type that, correct that code, okay. So, and go to C line, our file. You can see it also has power safe mode. So here's a trick. If your computer is not much powerful and it, it just lags while running the uh, IntelliJ. So you can, you can turn, up, uh, turn on that power saving mode. It drastically improves performance and battery life of your laptop. So I personally have tried it. But you wouldn't get be, uh, but you wouldn't be getting the uh, IntelliSense functions. But what you can do, you can uh, do it by pressing, sorry, command and uh, space button or control a space button on Windows to get those uh, uh, suggestions explicitly. Okay, so I guess that's pretty much it for today so if you want videos uh, more videos like that please do let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for subscribing this channel and uh, for all those views and likes on my previous video about sea lion thanks for watching